Oh my god, Ben, is this more Marvel Snap content? Yes. Yes, you are correct. Now, I'm 68 in the Battle Pass as of the 24th. It is Christmas Eve today. Actually, the time of I'm recording this, it's Christmas Eve. I'm 68 in the Battle Pass and 74 rank. I want to try and get to 80. Okay? 80 is my goal for, I guess, this season. I would love to get to 100, but I don't know if that's going to work. We are going to be using a new deck this time. It's called Surfing the Internet. Now, the main star of this deck is Silver Surfer. This guy, uh, on reveal, gives all my other three cost cards plus three power. And as you can see from the deck, the majority of it is three cost cards. Now, let me just run you through a couple of oddities in the deck that might confuse you a little bit. I'm running Killmonger because I feel like I come across a lot of 1Xs, like a lot of tiny little creatures in this meta. I don't know why, but they just keep coming up, so I just decided to put Killmonger in there. Plus, he's a 3-drop, so it's just good. Now, putting Killmonger in there allows me to put in Nova, because if I put down Nova, then Killmonger, it'll just boost all my... It'll boost all my cards, as well as killing all theirs as well. Uh, Forge and Brood is another combo, so Forge gives the next card I play plus 2 power. Brood creates 2 Broodlings to this location with the same power, so if I boost him to 4, it'll create 3... Three fours at that location, which is great. Uh, and then Storm and Punisher is always a good slight combo. Basically, Storm and any three drop that I have is just really good because it's eventually when I get out Silver Surfer, it's all plus six on that side anyway. So it's always a bonus. So without further ado, let's get to 65. 75. We're already at 65. Let's go to 75. Now, I don't use any avatars or names. Names? What is this? A title. I don't use any names or titles yet because... Do I have any ongoing effects? Yeah, I do. Because I just haven't found one that I liked. Like, they're all just... there. I'm sure I'll find it eventually. And also, Killmonger Count as Central Park, which is fantastic. Uh... Forge. We'll go right there. We're gonna go Bishop next turn. Add a copy to the opponent's hand. Okay. Bishop there is gonna get plus two. And then I'm going to use Killmonger next turn to just wipe the board. Because I don't want these squirrels here. Titania was an odd choice. Is Titania a 1-5? I feel like it might be a 1-5. Let's use Killmonger, wipe the board, get rid of all these squirrels. Also buff up two of my units with Nova. I've been 50-50 on adding Sunspot because... Okay, wave's fine. I've been 50-50 on adding Sunspot because... Ugh. That's fine, he wanted to do it anyway. Because Killmonger will just counter Sunspot, but I also have an, a lot of unspent mana, because everything's basically 3 drops. Ugh. You there. He's snapping, which is fine. Storm in the middle. That way I get to put Mojo in the middle as well. Null is a 38 power creature. Okay. Okay. Um. Hmm. How do I win this? It's ongoing. Can I win this? I don't feel like I can win this. <laughs> Normally by turn 5 I have Sarah. Which allows me to play at least 2 or 3 of these. So if I drop Silver Surfer, getting plus 6 to both of these dudes, I don't think I've got it. So I'm going to retreat before I lose any more cubes. Escaped. Yeah, I can't beat Null. Null double power is very good. Alright, game two. Kamataje is very good with Silver Surfer. Very, very good. Only one card can be there for each player. Okay. Okay. I feel like I just dropped Brood here. Cosmo stopping on reveal effects is very annoying, but we can get par- can we get past that? Yeah, we can. If we go Killmonger on the right, that'll wipe out Nova, and it'll also allow me to drop Silver Surfer on the Brood location. So if I go Killmonger here, that's fine. I don't care about losing the right hand side, that's totally fine with me. Because I should be able to get back. White Queen gets you, I have no idea what. They're all the same power. All the same cost. 
That's a yikes. Let's go Captain America there. Let's go Captain America on the left, then I guess Punisher on the left as well, and Bishop. Sorry, Punisher on the left, Silver Surfer in the middle. I think that'll win us the game. Because I'm adding 7 power on the right here. Yikes. I mean... You can't... Arrow's dumb. I'm okay with losing to Arrow. Actually, no, I'm not. That wasn't fair. I had this entire plan planned out. Damn. We're down three cubes so far. This is not a good, not a good representation of how this deck actually works. I promise you, we will win one match by the time this video is over. Wait, we finally drew Sarah. This, watch this. This will be the game that I don't draw Silver Surfer. That's fine. That's why, that's why we have Killmonger. Okay. He has priority. Which I guess is fine. He's gonna eat both of these. I don't think I can get... Uh, how do I word this? <laughs> I don't think I can get priority before he eats both Nova and the Hood. So if I just go Storm in the middle, I can cut off that location before he does anything. Now I also have priority, which is fantastic. So I drop Nova, Killmonger, wipes his entire board. Yeah. Wipes his entire board, he's got nothing. So he hasn't done anything for three turns. He's got five cards in hand, so I assume he's got something to eat. He's got Carnage or Venom, or... What's that, Deathstroke? Not Deathstroke, Deathlock. Basically the same character. Okay, Nova, Killmonger, wipe your board. It's great. And Enchantress. Okay, that's fine. Okay, we won the middle. Let's snap. Because he just lost the middle. Let's go Sarah on the right. Because the Broodlings that it creates don't have an ability. So, if I drop them on the left, they get plus three. Which is good. I can also go Forge into Brood as well. Red Skull. I'm fine with that. I'm pretty sure I can get past the 20 power. I can't play all of these. So if I go Forge into Brood over there and Captain America, I feel like I win. Hey, there we go. He retreated. Fantastic. I think I had it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven power plus Red Skull plus them both by two. So I'm getting 11 power. So yeah, I feel like I'd, I'd win that location. Plus I'd win the left because of Forge and Brood. Yeah, see? Plus four. Okay, we got all of our losses back just then. Yay. <laughs> this deck is finally going to work. On reveal effects not happening there is a little bit annoying, but it's fine. We'll get through it. Hazmat. He is playing Hazmat. Yikes. Okay. Um, I like this Hazmat deck. Luke Cage. That's not good. I'm going to dump you there. Luke Cage. Oh, God. I'm gonna lose this. <laughs> I'm gonna lose this because Luke Cage and Hazmat is just too good. Damn, if I drew Luke Cage from that. Oh, I'm gonna stick with this because I feel like I might have a chance. If I draw Silver Surfer, everything is plus three. I could have a decent chance of winning. No doubt he's got Wong. No, he didn't do that long. Okay. Okay, he's got Mojo on the left. So I need to remember that. Turn 5, we play Sarah. Okay. We're getting somewhere. Sarah on the left. I'm not going to snap because I'm not sure if I'm going to win this. If he plays... I think the combo here is Wong Hazmat. Or maybe like Hazmat Odin is the combo. Okay, Brood. Is there a way to win this? I've got six energy. Is there a way to win this? Okay, he's snapping. He thinks he's got it. I flipped all the cards with minus one power. So if he goes Hazmat Odin, all of my cards get minus two. And his cards are fine because of Luke Cage. 
Minus two should still be okay. So Bishop's going plus three. Punish is going plus three. Silver Surfer plus them both by three. I'm expecting Hazmat Odin. Hazmat, yep. That's fine. Odin. Oh my god, get called out! Okay, I think we win this because Silver Surfer pluses them all by just way too much. Oh! Oh my god! I'm just too good! Get predicted! Look, the Daily Bugle definitely helped there about actually telling me what his plan was. But I don't think that insight would have mattered. <laughs> I feel like I still would have gotten close. Oh my god, we're only at 15 minutes. Okay, we'll do one more. Cards cost four, five, or six can't be played here. That doesn't really affect me because everything is three or three or less. The only thing that affects is Sarah. We go Cosmo on the left. Next turn we go Killmonger. Killmonger on the right. Sarah in the middle. Okay. Maybe I should play Brood first. If I play Brood first, Killmonger buffs all of these by one, which is great. Jubilee. A little bit rough. Lockjaw. Okay, that's fine. Let's go Sarah in the middle. I think we're going to try and win the right and the middle. Depending on what Lockjaw brings out. Ghost Rider. Okay. Didn't discard anything. Brought out Shuri. That's not good. That's not good at all. Okay, how do we win this? How do we win this? He's got two on the left. He played on turn two and three. So they can't be that big, right? So we've got Cosmo, which has stopped the on-reveal abilities of Kill Killmonger. So we need to go Captain America there. That gives me enough power to probably win that. And then Killmonger in the middle, Silver Surfer in the middle. I'm adding six power. Buffing everything over there, adding 6 power there. I feel like that's the play. Depending, of course, on what he plays next. What does he play next? What what allows him to win this game? Show me! Show me! I, I have no idea what allows you to win this game. Okay, everything gets buffed by 1. That's great. Oh, not until the game ends! No, no, no. That should be fine. We've won the middle and the right so far. Gambit, okay. Hella. You didn't discard anything. <laughs> Whew. Okay, no, we won. He had me all sorts of confused as about what he was doing because I didn't know what the heck was going on here. Didn't Shuri trigger... Yeah, double the power of the next card you play. Didn't he play Hella? It buffed Blade. Oh, it buffed Blade. Because Shuri... Shuri said, okay, I don't want to see Ghost Rider. What's up with this? Is it because Lock you played Ghost Rider, Lockjaw sent Ghost Rider away and then brought back Shuri? That's a visual visual bug. Let me see. Yeah, I can select Ghost Rider from here for some reason. So Shuri says, on reveal, double the power of the next card you play. But because Dark Dimension hid all three of these cards, Blade was revealed first, so he technically played that first, so it doubled his power. And Cosmo was the absolute big brain move. Stopping all of his on-reveal cards to actually discard cards and then trigger Hella. Oh my god, I'm so much smarter than I thought. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next episode. If you want to see more from me or more Marvel Snap content, make sure you subscribe and like the video to let me know that you want to see more. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. It's Christmas! <laughs> it's Christmas time, everybody. And... Almost dropped my head, friends. And you know what that means? That means we're going to be watching another Christmas movie for December. Yay! Now, last year I watched Home Alone 2, because the year before that I watched Home Alone 1, and I thought they'd be good companion pieces. But, last year I missed out on another Home Alone movie that came out. 